This Marine is in jail. But you see the date of this article here, December 2nd. And in the article, it says that the Biden administration is negotiating to trade Victor Boot because the Russians want him. You have to understand that, that the Russians want Boot. Now, Boot was jailed before Russia invaded Ukraine in 2014, the original invasion. And in the interim, they arrested this guy, and they also arrested Brittany Griner, okay? Played for the Phoenix Mercury. She has two gold medals, Olympic gold medals for the United States. So she's an American. She had a stance. People are calling her anti-American. She doesn't want to hear the, the national anthem, and she refused to stand on the floor when the anthem was played. That feels like uh, anti-American to me, okay? But nevertheless, she's an American. She has a passport. So, you know, thank God, you know, she, so we're, we're glad that she's home. We're glad that she's home. But why didn't we get this U.S. Marine? I'll tell you what, I'll value a Marine over an anti-American gold star anything. I don't care. I'd rather have this guy, Mr. Whelan. Now, I want to read you this. Why, why do you think Russia wants... <laughs> Why do you think Russia wants a man who is an expert at smuggling missiles, tanks, rockets, explosives? The man was convicted of anti-American activities, fund, uh, aiding terrorists by selling to them weapons. In 2012, the United States uh, convicted him and put him in jail. Now, in the roll-up, the preparation phase for the larger invasion, the 2022 invasion into Ukraine, Russia suddenly arrests an American executive. Someone gave him a flash drive and said, and then they seized him and said, oh, this has, top, this has secret information on it. And they convicted him of espionage in Russia and put him in jail. And they started saying, hey, you guys want this guy back? Give us Victor Boot. This is how Russia does something. They take something you want and then they offer to trade it to you for something you want. It's folly to negotiate with terrorists. That's who they are, nothing else. Kidnappers, hostage takers, ransom holders. Give us what we want or we're gonna keep taking stuff you want. And they really wanted Victor Boot. Make no mistake, the fact that Biden got one American, great, get one American, get all. There are 17 Americans held currently in Russian prisons. Why not get all 17? A Russian prison is not a place you want to be. It's not an enjoyable thing to be looking at th these ludicrous uh, sentences they're giving many years for what? What did Griner have? Some vaping things that had cannabis oil in them. Somehow they arrested her and they put her in jail. Why? Because they wanted to trade her. People said, ah, oh, she's a drug user. That's not what it's about. It's about gaining leverage through a lie to get Victor Boot. The fact that the Biden administration failed to grasp this just resounds about the lack of any thought that these people might have. These mouthpiece got up there, whatever her name is, KJP, she's up there saying, well, they would only give us Victor Briner for boot. What do you mean, only give us Victor Briner for boot? Because the Russians want boot. They're like, give us boot. You got to give us something. We won't give that. We won't give that. We'll give no, they wanted boot. This is clear. Do not doubt this. The Russians wanted the guy that smuggles bombs. Now, what do you think he's going to smuggle those bombs? They have open lines of logistics flow into Ukraine. They can just put anything they want into Ukraine on a truck right now and drive it right in there. Put it on the back of a tank, convoy together, 20 kilometers long. They can do that, and they've done it. Nope. They don't want somebody who can smuggle into Ukraine. No, my friend. Russia has eyes to bring down the United States. Then, who is there to hold Russia back from taking over whatever they want? China? No, they're an ally. Iran? No, they're an ally. Syria? Another ally. Pawns are being moved to the center of the board in a chess match for the freedom of the planet. If you haven't figured that out, you need to. Now, if you're caught up in who's Russia, Ukraine, no, 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 no. It's the Satanists against the people who want God first. That's who this is. The Lord has shown me this. If you see my podcast, Steel vs. Steel, in one of the episodes, I talk about the truth about the war in Ukraine. And I cover this whole message. 
about Satanists, and I show you the message that the Lord gave me and how it has already been fulfilled. And in the climax of that message was, this war is between, this is the first group, those who want money first. Those are the Satanists, my friend. They control the money. If money's first, the Satanists are first. Against those who want God first. That's who they are killing. We heard this. I will affirm to you it's true. I know two pastors wanted to kill. And the first one, he escaped in 2014. Later, the Chechens crashed through his house. Mercenaries with orders and special pay from Moscow to hunt down and kill Christian pastors. An Orthodox army, a 10,000-man battalion, they also have special orders to hunt down and kill Protestant pastors and their older sons. That's what's happening in eastern Ukraine. That's what's happening in Ukraine now. In the south, they're torturing. You, you can go look it up. Found dead, Ukraine. You, you'll find several articles. Pastor and his son tortured. Pastor and his son give a ride to some Russian soldiers who then kill them, torture them to death in the woods. Does anyone, they knew who they were stopping for a ride. On a ride, they wanted to kill them. Going on. Christians, the Luciferian war. People call it World War III, the future war that's coming. I call it Lucifer's war. The more the Holy Spirit shows me about it, the more I call it Lucifer's war. Listen to this. Dimitri Dudeman, this is on handofhelp.com, a vetted prophet, watchman for God. Boom, America would be destroyed. And he says, remember this, Dimitri, the Russian spies have discovered where the nuclear warehouses are in America. When the Americans will think that it is peace and safety from the middle country, some of the people will start fighting against the government. The government will be busy with internal problems. Who do you think this is going to be? In another place, he says that it will be communism, but by another name. Black Lives Matter, Antifa, these guys. That's who that is. They're the communists. Make no mistake of it. They, they don't care about black people. No, no, no. Communism is a form of Satanism. And the Satanists, they love to divide by race, and they will tell the whites to hate the blacks, and they will tell the blacks to hate the whites. Wherever you see that going on, Louis Farrakhan, for example, the spirit behind that. It's the communist spirit. Ocean from Cuba, Nicaragua, Mexico. And he told me two other countries, but I didn't remember what they were. This is Dimitri Dudeman saying, they will the nuclear warehouses. When they explode, America will burn. This initial attack on America, the initial wave that will hit America, it's going to be a big attack. They're going to get those missiles into Nicaragua and Cuba and Mexico unnoticed by American defense networks. How do you think they're going to do that? Well, what if you had a global expert in, in acquiring and smuggling and selling and positioning weapons, including surface-to-surface -surface missiles? That's what they want. That is what they want. Now, let me tell you, if you dwell in the sacred place of the Most High, if you have a deep, intimate, obedient relationship with the Lord, listen to what the angel tells Deuteronomy next. What will you do with the church of the Lord? How will you save the ones that will turn toward you? Dimitri asked. And the angel said, Tell them this, how I saved the three young ones from the furnace of fire, and how I saved Daniel in the lion's den is the same way I will save them. So the Biden administration, and I'm not, I'm not deceived people. I don't think that there's really a division, that there's really a left and a right, a Democrats and a Republicans, libs and conservatives. It's not really going on. There are really people who are liberal, really people who are conservative. But when you get into the government, they're all the Satanists. And, and ex-Satanists have said so. We control it all. We don't care what laws you pass. Just let me control the money because you can buy a politician. And when they can't buy them, they kill them. That's how it works. That's the deal you can't refuse. And the one hand will get you whatever you want. Sex, power, drugs, name it. Fame, we can do that for you. We'll put you in every newspaper. Everybody will know your name. Think Billy Graham like this. Think all those pastors that always appear in the suggested videos on different platforms because the enemy controls those platforms and the enemy has given you who they want you to follow. Trust in God, my friend. So the Biden administration, they made this deal, <laughs> a terrible deal. They gave Russia a powerful tool, a potentially powerful tool in the war against Ukraine. No, the war against 
those who want God first, the majority of which live, reside in the most powerful country in the world, the United States. They need to hit the United States big. That's what we need to pray against. That is what we need to pray against. These people are making serious mistakes that should have never happened. No wise man would have made that deal or let Victor boot out for anything. Not even my fellow jarhead, Mr. Whelan. Nah. Nah. Wouldn't have made that trade. You don't give somebody a potentially lethal weapon in exchange for something else of lesser value. My friends, don't be deceived by what's going on in the world. Pray and ask God to reveal to you the truth. This is the man from Modesto reminding you, as always, to pray or be defeated.